we're getting ready to go into the second half of the year. And what I'm going to do is same thing I did towards the end of last year. I'm going to do a mid-year uh, thankfulness, a mid-year gratitude session. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I think a lot of us, we get so kind of caught up in what we got going on. We get caught up into what we want. And we get caught up into what we're trying to achieve. But we also don't think about what we have and how we should be grateful and show gratitude for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. So really quickly. So, you know, just everybody knows the basics in the general. You know, you want to be great, grateful for your life. You want to be grateful for your health. You want to be grateful for your relationships, your family, things of that nature. Those are pretty much the things that want to cover pretty much everybody. But in the business and like the social media space, you know, I'm grateful for the audience that I've been able to build on YouTube. I'm grateful for my customers. Anytime I have an issue customer related, one thing I think about is the fact that I can have zero customers. And, you know, because I study a lot of businesses, I see businesses have a great run and then they lose their customers. I was watching a, a YouTube video the other day about the inline skating, some people call rollerblading scene and how in the late 90s, it was like 50, 60 million people rollerblading. Once we hit the 2000s, that number started to drop off. A lot of corporations that made those particular, um, made that equipment, they went out of business. Nike sold their inline division brand. And it's because they just lost their customers. So customers are not a guarantee. Um, so I'm very grateful for the customers I had. I'm grateful for the people that decided to do business with me. I don't take that type of stuff for granted because they could have spent their money somewhere else. And nobody owes me their money. I'm not one of those type of people that believe that because I got a business and I look like other people, I'm owed their money. Nobody owes me their money, but people do vote with their money. And that's why I don't allow people to tell me that they like something about me, um, but they won't do business because I know people vote with their money. They vote with their money every day. They vote with their money and they vote with their attention. And so every day they're voting for something and they're voting against something. And because I know that and I understand that, I don't let people tell me stuff and they're not voting with their money or their attention. Uh, Wanna also thank everybody that has supported me if they were a customer or not a customer. So I have people on social media that have told other people about me, right? have on social media promoted what I bring to the table because they've been able to get a benefit from it. I want to thank them for doing that because we do live in a world where people are quick to promote the negative and they slow to promote the positive. And one thing I really want to encourage people to do the second half of this year is that if you know something is positive, is having a positive impact on your life, it don't have to be me. It could be anything. I want to encourage you to promote that to somebody else. Because one thing we see is that anything that people don't like, it gets it gets you know brought to the top level. That's why people look to be uh, to be controversial and to not be liked because they understand that that's what people promote. People will be drawn to something that they don't like and something they do like. They won't tell anybody about it and they won't really pay any attention because they kind of know what they're going to get out of that situation. And so I'm grateful for the people on social media that have told other people about me they have told people about the value that they've got from being around me and they continue to communicate that even though they may not be getting the response right i really appreciate that because they don't have to do it right they don't have to do it at all and i also want to thank the people uh directly on social media that been able to uh help me get a higher profile so a lot of people know me through erica williams right she's been a big help to a lot of people including myself uh, very consistent in her helping people Right. So a lot of people met me through Erica and then they jumped on my platform and then they developed a relationship with me through social media. Some of them have decided to do business with me, some not. But it doesn't matter because I got uh, their attention through her platform. And it was just a power, social media power, the Internet. The other person is uh, by the hood. Right. So a lot of y'all don't know about by the hood. Uh, everything that a lot of people say they want on this YouTube, they're doing right. They're doing it. If people say they want right and exact information, they got it. If people say they want responsible black men, uh, they got it. If people say they want black men, that's family men, they got it. So what's interesting is that everything that people say they want out of black men, by the hood is bringing that to the table, they're providing it, and they not even sitting on, you know, 100,000 subs. And we talked about again, a lot of times people will give more attention to what they don't like than what they say they actually do like. So in reality, what they're saying they don't like right is really what they do like so this is why like i said i don't believe what people say i believe what they do because we have a, an example of two black men that are providing right they're active in their community they're active with children that are not necessarily their own everything that people on this youtube say that black men are not doing they're doing it 
right? They're doing it in real life. They actually do it off the internet. Then they also do it on the internet. They're also leading people uh, it, with, with things that they're teaching. So leaders are teachers. They're also teaching people. Um, they're doing community redevelopment projects. They're involved in all of that, right? And they don't have a channel with 100,000 subs on it. And I think it, it because it contradicts what people say we're not doing. So I can't keep saying the black man is not doing something if I have an example of black men that are doing it and consistent. So I just got to ignore that because I got to stay on my message. So I want to tell people, I would encourage you to tap into the content because they were the, really the first people to put me on a platform, right? And I had reached out to a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of people on social media with my message and my video was still on their platform. They were one of the first people to put me on any platform and to give me any kind of publicity and notoriety and they didn't have to do it, but they did it because they saw value in what I was talking about. So I would really encourage people to tap into what they're doing. So Erica Williams, by the hood with two people on social that I'm very grateful for, that they allowed me to get a platform and expose me to their audience, which also helped me build my audience. And I wanna really encourage you in both regards, what we say we want out of our people, they're providing it, they're bringing it to the table and they've been very consistent, not only online, but also offline. So I wanna really encourage people, right? If we say we want something and somebody's providing that to us and it's right and exact, we need to ask ourselves, why we're not supporting that to the utmost if we communicate that there's a deficit somewhere that's not being met when we see somebody meeting the deficit. So that's going to be my gratitude uh, for what second half of the year. I want to really encourage everybody, you know, really lock in and focus on what you're trying to do. This situation is real. It's not going to, to me, scale down anytime soon. It's going to continue to keep ramping up. It's going to continue to keep turning up. And I want to really encourage you don't look up and this thing has passed you by and you're trying to figure out how to get back in position. Stay in position, stay at it, stay focused on your goals and keep pushing on your goals. And you don't have to buy anything from me if you just understand that that's what you need to do because what I don't want you to do is get so far out of position that you need so much help that other people gotta stop everything they're doing to help you. If we all running, it's easy for us to help each other because we all running. If I'm running and you stopped, I may sometimes may have to stop to help you. Not saying I won't do it. What I'm saying is that I got to not stop. So what I want to encourage us is just us keep moving, keep motivating, keep going. So then when somebody need a hand up, right, they need some help. They need somebody to, you know, to try to put them in position. It's easy because you already got something going for yourself, right? David W. Williams, also known as Diamond Dave, I'll talk to you later.